Hello world, welcome to quick tip number 31, KML to mapping. In this short video we show you how to import an external KML which can be sent to you by your client okay. over email, import them in DroneLink and do your mapping with that coordinates. In this sample I'll show you how to make a polygon in Google Earth and export that as a KML file. I have chosen the venue of a project of mine in Freetown, Sierra Leone, West Africa. First we make the polygon. Set the properties of the polygon like renaming and the color and the thickness of the line. We now have set our venue and if we are happy we go export it as a KML. You can export as a KMZ but KML gives usually better detail. Well that's the Google Earth part, now let's get to DroneLink. In DroneLink create a new plan and choose Map. Choose a location, it doesn't matter where. I always start renaming the plan. Now set the parameters of your mapping, for example the drone and the altitude. Expand the properties. Select normal or grid. Now select import boundary points KML. Select your KML and choose Upload. And now you see DroneLink have opened the correct coordinates with the parameters you have selected. As this is now a normal DroneLink mapping file, you can just change any parameter to your liking. Another new feature is that now, as you can see, the mapping stays within the boundaries and the drone flies actually like a safe zone. You can select between distance and time. Time, we go to the old one where you fly outside of your boundary lines. This option has a lot of more possibilities, but we will go into another video about that. 